Reckless travel delays are having a ripple effect at airports around the world. That includes here at home. Many frustrated people playing the waiting game at Pearson International in Toronto. And that's where we find our Colin Butler. Colin, what sort of impact are the UK delays I was talking with Anne about having where you are? Well, you said it, Suhanna, a lot of frustration. I mean, uh, people have been waiting here for days. I spoke to a family from England. It was a lady and her two sons. Uh, they've been waiting for 48 hours. Thankfully, they've had their hotel rooms, uh, the extra days paid for uh, by the airline. But after today, that's pretty much it. So they're here at the airport. They're here at Pearson's Terminal 1. They're camping out. The desperation setting in. They're trying to get something, anything back across the pond to Heathrow. But... Uh, the delays are just incredible. I mean, it's having a cascading effect, it's pushing things back here, over there, all around the world, like you say. And this family from England I spoke to, they're not the only ones. We've been here all day speaking to people, getting their stories. Uh, here's a clip for you from the airport. I really, really hope to get home, but I, realistically, I don't know if I'll be home before Christmas. <laughs> I have an interview for my master's program, and if I don't make it, I'm... Like a better word, screw. So, not, not, not happy. <laughs> oh, I don't have any family here in Toronto. I can't, I'm coming from Windsor, which is like five hours away from here. But uh, we're just waiting. They said anytime the airports might be open, and when it's open, we can go. By the looks of it, I don't think I'll be able to get on this flight. I mean, I booked another flight just in case on Thursday, but I don't think I'm probably going to have to cancel this flight. Now, they have plenty of problems over there, like you heard, uh, on that side of the pond. On this side, Air Canada has brought in some extra staff. Uh, they're doing their best to quarterback all the line, long lineups and to get people where they're going, but there's only so much they can do, and there's really nothing they can do about the weather. So uh, until things there clear up, all people can really do is just try their best to straighten out a schedule that's pretty mixed up to begin with. All right, thank you for that, Colin. That's Colin Butler at Pearson International in Toronto. Michael Serapia was looking at what other Canadian travelers can expect today. Michael, I've got some family coming in today from mm -hmm. Victoria, and they're going to come into that crazy situation of Pearson. What are you seeing? Well, you know, we've been monitoring the situation all day, making some phone calls. We can tell you that there was a flight that was scheduled to go to London uh, Heathrow from Pearson around 8.15 a.m. Eastern Time. That flight was cancelled, disappointing a lot of travellers uh, that Colin actually encountered on the ground there that had been in, in Pearson for the last couple of days. Uh, just one of uh, about 67 flights have been cancelled out of Pearson in the last 30 hours, dozens of which have been grounded because of the weather conditions that we've been noting in both London and in Paris. And those are not the only cancellations. We can tell you out of Halifax, uh, Stanf Stanfield International, the flight to, the, to London, the only direct flight from the Maritimes, remains cancelled today. This is the third day the flight has been grounded. And depending on the situation in Heathrow, Sohanna, things may not get back to normal for another 24, possibly 48 hours. Of course, these aren't the only delays. Also, the flights out of uh, Ottawa's McDonald Cartier International Airport and the country's third busiest air hub, Trudeau International, also delayed and or cancelled. Now, Air Canada is is advising passengers at this hour to expect more delays, possibly more cancellations throughout the day. Here's what uh, Air Canada's chief operating officer had to tell us. His name is Duncan D. Uh, we're advising passengers to check the Air Canada website at www.aircanada.com for the latest information regarding their flights. We're also advising passengers to be patient. Um, during this time of year, um, the flights that are being operated are already extremely full because of the Christmas holiday peak travel period. And so our ability to reprotect customers on these flights is very limited. In addition to that, our ability to operate additional flights to London are, is also impacted by the limited number of slots that London Airport has available. So and he keeps talking about the limitations. Well, we can tell you that Air Canada is limited to six takeoffs and landings today, but uh, those are going to be used primarily to get uh, aircraft from to Canada from London, as well as getting a plane that was earlier diverted to Dublin. So really, the people here in Canada may uh, be out of luck for today, at least, Anna. Now, I know we've got crews at these various airports, but you've also been asking viewers, Michael, to send us pictures from wherever they are delayed. Um, what are you getting in? Well, let's begin with the uh, picture that started it all off. This was early this morning at uh, Heathrow Airport, sent in by viewer uh, Sean Pawa. Now, he's lucky. He's on one of those planes that managed to get out of Heathrow today, but the next viewer, check out this photograph. This is from Eduardo Badaro. He's still stuck in London. Check out all the British airway planes that are stuck on the tarmac. This is uh, just outside of Heathrow. 
but he is the one the lucky ones because we take a look at the next picture this is from his hotel room he can actually afford a hotel in london where a lot of travelers cannot he writes to us it's disappointing to see that england cannot handle 25 centimeters of snow and after two days still this mess so just some of the frustration that we're getting from our viewers mm -hmm. both here in canada and overseas well